there's not so much that in the way of a technical concern. Uh, the big one is sort of control and, and who runs it and who sets policies and what happens. We don't even have really a good definition of what does it mean to have an internet connection. The FCC has recently struggled with this. They've come up with a definition of a broadband internet connection that leaves out most people in the country. They don't actually have broadband internet connections anymore. They don't have enough bandwidth to meet the new spec. Okay, But you go look at, say, someone in China who's behind the, the Great Firewall of China. They're really on a Chinese network that is sort of slightly connected to the internet, not fully connected. Right. So they might not have what some people here would consider a real internet connection. We don't have a definition for it. And given that we don't have a definition for it, we, we don't know what it is that we're trying to preserve. We have conflicting priorities with government interests wanting to lock things down, not expose political schisms, not expose religious schisms, not, a, not uh, expose children to pornography or pornography to children or, or whatever the, uh, the question du jour. There are a lot of people that want to have control. And the, the real risk is instead of an internet or the internet, we end up with many, many islands of network connectivity that have variant connections between themselves and basically fragment the whole thing and make it much less useful than it really currently seems to be.